Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna play some ESO, your favorite Elder Scrolls game, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, they came out with this new kind of roguelite type of dungeon, um, so I wanted to try it. I have two characters, uh, here's my old character that I did for my original playthrough on YouTube, like, a long time ago. But I made one uh, that's a Templar. That I wanted to make more of a healer type. Because I, I usually I usually play healers in MMOs. I don't remember why I played a Dragon Knight uh, for my first run, but I guess I wanted to change it up. So here's the new thing. It's the Endless Archive. Uh, I don't know much about it. I watched the trailer and apparently it's like this new endless dungeon thing uh although it seemed more like an endless wave of enemies in the arena more than like a dungeon you go through but it's supposed to have pretty solid rewards and it changes up a lot so it's getting a lot of replayability and it sounded like right up my alley of the type of games i like to play so i wanted to give it a try I don't know what that does, so I don't want to push that yet. Let's talk to this guy. That door will take you into the archive. The malligraphies are the best lead we have, so head toward orbs of unstable ink, and you will find them. I'll watch and offer advice when I can, but I'll leave the fighting to you. It's not my forte. Here's the problem. I haven't played this game, really, <laughs> since I did the videos on it, like, I don't know how long that even was, like seven years ago or something. Uh, so I'm not good at playing this game. So I have to kind of figure out how to play again. I kind of played a little bit this week, but not a lot. So I got some of the basics down, but it's only so much you can do with so little playtime. So I'll probably die quick. Alright, Dreads of Faith do not attach quickly, strumming the loom, the servers all eyes to the archives and keeps you from re-entering the archival wings. Your endless archive run will end here if you continue. Wait, what? Is this the door? Oh, this door. Okay. So you could play this solo or with a companion, which they added companions after I stopped playing, which is pretty cool, but they're behind DLC, of course, which I don't have. Um, or you could play this with one other person. So that's pretty cool. You could solo or duo. Uh, I gotta remember my abilities here. It's nice to fight something that's not dying in like two seconds. I was just running around the, the overworld and fighting things and it's like no challenge at all. So it's quite the difference here. And these are just trash mobs. So I'm probably gonna die really badly. I don't have like a good build or anything. I'm just just been experimenting with stuff. Okay. Let's try out my ultimate.
I also got the Lua add-on for the UI. It's just like a bunch of text popping up on the sides there. I gotta get rid of that. I don't really like a bunch of stuff on my screen. Oh, that's a lot of people. I shot at this little thing thinking it was an enemy, but it's my little pet. It doesn't do anything. Oh, oh god. Uh, I need more like AoE abilities. <laughs> Ultimates ready. I'm sure people are watching like, boy, does he suck. And you'd be right. But you know what? I'm gonna beat at least the first boss, right? Surely. I've beaten every Elder Scrolls game you can think of on PC. No casual MMO is gonna stop me. Oh great. Oh the great eye offers you versus their advantages that will make a huge difference as you fight waves of malignities. Select a verse while I create a portal. Verses. Choose one verse. Your area effects create diverging en energy. Once every 15 seconds, a location based area effect placed by you or an ally may begin to diverge, pulsing four paths of energy every 0.8 seconds for 10 seconds, dealing 4,891 damage. Uh, okay. So it makes my location based area effect, which I don't think I have any of those. Balance this one. Slain enemies leave behind a restorative elixir. Oh. Okay, so it makes enemies drop healing like potions on. That seems way more helpful for me right now. So, now you've encountered the malligraphies. You handled them better than I did. I can see why you were rewarded with a verse for your efforts. The filers helped me locate another orb of malligraphies. You need to take this portal to get there. Is there anything else to explore? I walk in this black circle that spawns enemies, I guess? Is that how it works?
some little crabby things. Scamps. Ow! 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 That's all I think about when, when I see scamps now. It's a freaking uh, battle spire. This guy's throwing fire all over the place. Tell me, is there any bow users that play this game? Or people who play this game that use a bow, I should say. Oh god. Do you like just spam quick shots or do you hold it the whole time? Do you hold it like half the time? I wonder how people like charge their weapons in this game. Or just regular mouse hits. Was a little scary. So he sells potions, repair kits, lockpicks, what's this? Hmm. Oh, look at the, um, the value of it. it. Looks like a different type of coin than the regular gold. So I guess it's the coin that you earn from doing these dungeons. General fishing bait? Why would they sell fishing bait here? <laughs> Resurrection, or a thing that uh, drops like disease damage, AOE. I'm gonna go with resurrection. Resurrection! Resurrection! Oh god, look at this guy. 
this malligraphy. I recognize it. In this case, that may not be a good thing. Be careful. Um, he's got almost a million HP. <laughs> Seven hundred and ninety-two thousand. I have twenty-three thousand. This is gonna be a long fight, huh? All right. Can we be friends, Death Leviathan? He's not attacking me. I just walk up and talk. E. Oh. Oh my gosh, she smacked me for like a fourth of my health. It's okay, I have long range. He's fast. Red lines, watch out. I'm guessing he's gonna have like more phases the more his uh, HP goes down, because right now he's like insanely easy for a bow user. <laughs> so, when's phase two? This is a kid's game. Approximately 10 hours later. Uh oh, he got on fire. Oh, that reached me. Alright, it's phase two isn't a whole lot different aside from these fire trails. I think the AOE goes a bit further beyond the lines. But still, this is child's play. Pretty disappointing. Be honest, they should throw in some like little guys. So far, this one on one is like the easiest thing in the dungeon. I guess that's really it, huh? That's crazy. What's in the chest? This must be the currency, dungeon currency. Yep. Go 
food and then plunder skull. Uh, which is a warlock, so it's fine. Interesting. Event container. Okay. Um. Looks like a smithing book and a necklace. And this one is definitely higher level than mine. I can't equip it from the um, from the loot box. I have to take it and then equip it. Okay, so I got a necklace upgrade, and then a vision. Damage shield bonus, or... Your magic attacks deal more critical damage. Um, it says it affects magic, flame, frost, and shock damage. Well, what kind of damage do I do? Is it do I do magic? I feel like mine is like a holy <laughs> light type, but I don't know the type. Does it say what kind of... Whatever it does? Uh, okay, magic damage. So I just do basic man magic damage. Okay, cool. Let's see what this guy has to say. I've never seen a malligraphy leave anything behind when they die. But then I also never recognized a malligraphy before. Today holds many revelations. This course of action is working. Keep it up. Since Thoat summons the malligraphies, perhaps they retain a piece of her. Her magic could require a portion of her mimic. There's also a possibility that Thoat is less in control of the malligraphies than we think. I'm hypothesizing. There's still so much we don't know. But I doubt any Daedra would willingly divulge a piece of their Nimic. I can only conclude that this fragment wasn't freely given. Which means the Nimics are an inherent part of these malligraphies. This malligraphy seemed more powerful. However Thoat creates malligraphies, this one probably took more energy to manifest. That sort of magical effort takes its toll. Knowing what army a soldier belongs to is not the same as knowing their name. To continue the military metaphor, you just fought a general. As the foremost expert on malligraphies, I know next to nothing. One thing I can guarantee you about this place, anything is possible. I read about incredible figures such as the Imperfect, Prior Theric, and Cinemoth. Any number of deadly enemies are contained within the Archive's tomes. While verses are more powerful, they don't last very long. Conversely, the same is true about visions. Their augments are less impactful, but they'll last for as long as you're in the Archive. Receiving an offering of visions is... impressive. Okay, so visions are a buff that lasts forever as long as I'm in this place. I don't see it though. Where's my buff? Vision. What's this F5? Endless archive. Oh, okay. 
I have to hit F5 to see my my vision. That answers that. Okay, so the first place is somewhat challenging, but the boss. Oh. I'm trying to talk here. But the boss was super easy. Let's see how this one goes. Listen, my DPS is not the highest, okay? Whatever you are. Lift Striders. You know how many of you guys I've killed? Morrowind. What? Oh god, there's freaking birds on me. Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. Ah, run. If they watched YouTube, maybe. I don't know. Oh, there's little guys. Ah! Forgot I have my ultimate. Heels! Oh god. I need to zoom out. Okay, once it gets down to like half of them, it's way easier. This guy, his wind up is like super long, so it's super easy to block. Oh, 
Okay, once again I have the rebirth or I have I still want the rebirth. <laughs> I don't know if mine is still existing. What's this? Alright, let's go into the unknown. Why not? Oh! Oh my gosh! What the hell just happened? I'm a Wait a minute. How am I supposed to fight like this? Uh, no, I'm a goat. Help. This guy is crazy. How do I change back? Oh, there's a thing down there. Wheat roll, sugar rush. Okay, I don't know what that did. Ooh. Seriously, what the hell do I do? <laughs> I got this weird butcher chasing me. Uh, I guess this. Oh wait, I think my uh, ultimate went up by 33%. Maybe from eating this thing? Is that what I gotta do? Eat it until my ultimate like builds up? Yeah, now it's 66. So like, one or two more? Ultimate ready. Turn and fight. Okay. Yeah. I popped them in the nuts. That was random. Alright, so let's see. Slayer Mora's deck frag. Okay, so I have to collect five of these to get something. Another skull. Some artwork thing. Repair kit. Oh. No uh, equipment upgrade. Just collect the bows. Whenever you critically heal yourself or an ally, an aura of immunity is placed at their location. That lasts for 10 seconds. Oh, it's just immunity to, um, I guess like stuns and stuff. I thought it was, if it was immunity to damage, I'd be like, yes please. Try this one, Tomfoolery. Tomfoolery. So this is going on a bit longer than I thought it would. That was gonna be a short video.
Oh, those little flying thing that's helping me, I think is a boom foolery thing. He's doing the AoE. Good idea. Pretty cool. I like having a little book pet. Oh yeah, I forgot to use my number five ability, which like busts my regens. Can't believe I've been not using that button this whole time. See what verses I got. Successfully dodging an attack summons a charming book. I like the book, so I'm gonna take this one. Oh, so another boss fight? Big werewolf looking guy. Let's see how we do. I remember to cast my five this time. Okay, this guy's just gonna run up and smack me. He's a lot smarter than the last guy. Oh my god, he's doing a ton of damage too. This guy might kill me. Not gonna lie. Oh god, he's kicking my ass just on this first uh, phase, so. Oh god, that killed me. Okay. Well, we went from one boss being extremely easy to another boss being the one to kill me. Uh, I'm kind of glad because I didn't want this video to be too long. Our recording's already almost an hour. Uh, so let's see. Whatever Exarch Craglet. Oh wait, no, that's his name. Boat line is what I'm looking at. I'm trying to look at this thing. That did the most damage to me. I think it was like his AoE that was on the ground that I wasn't paying attention to that like Um I was just standing in. I see a revive option here. Which I'm tempted to do. Let's do it. One more.